There is a reason why I want to give you this homework assignment today instead of any other Wednesday. And that is because in about eight weeks, we will be at the end of 2019. And something that I love is um, the power of starting fresh, uh, no matter what time of year it is, even no uh, sometimes no matter what time of day it is. Like, I just love like starting over and starting over and starting over. Um, if you need to, like we, we always have that power and we might want to start over if we've got an off track or in a funky mood, um, or even if, uh, we're a little, uh, lost about what we want to do creatively, um, or a little just, um, maybe uninspired, uh, and that could have something to do with why we feel lost. So... The reason why I wanted to give you uh, something to work on eight weeks before the end of the year is because there's no reason to wait until January 1st, 2020 to start on a new project um, that could move you closer to your goals. I think it would be great to start right now, this week, and that is why um, I decided to time it like this. So the homework assignment I want you to work on um, from now until the end of the year. Of course, you can start it next year if you want to. I'm actually going to start my version of this homework assignment next year, and I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. But um, what I want you to focus on for a creative project that will last eight weeks is finding a topic that you um, like, that you wanna write about, that you wanna post videos about, that you wanna podcast about, something that you wanna tackle creatively, but you've put it off because you think to yourself, oh, everyone, there's so many people who have already covered that topic, or, uh, you know, what, what's the point? It's all, the industry or the, the topic is already really saturated. Um, I, what's the point of me even doing it? That is the exact topic that I want you to focus on because um, what, like I said in one of my last videos when I teased that I was going to be giving a homework assignment, is that everything has already been said and everything has already been done. Um, so if you are holding yourself back because you think the topic has already been covered, that is the exact topic that I want you to work on because your goal then is to add your flavor to it and to do that topic in your way to reach the type of people who will really resonate with your way of covering that topic and that will help build your audience. I'm just going to use these videos as an example. Lots of writing advice out there, tons of it. Um, and I get discouraged by it. Um, in lots of the topics that I cover, I do get discouraged um, by how many other people are doing that. But then I always go back to, well, I can do it my way. And the people who want to hear what I have to say through my lens and through my perspective are going to join my audience. And it is the exact same thing for you. So, um, Specifically, I want you to tackle something that you haven't done because, um, because of those reasons. And also, um, just uh, it really, it will give you momentum. And that is why, you know, even though this project will last only um, eight weeks and the parameters that I'm putting, it pushes you forward into the next thing and it helps you build confidence um, that you can tackle other topics um, and other things that you might have put off because you think, well, you know, who's going to listen to me on that? Really, the doing of it is what builds the confidence to um, not really, you know, this project may end after eight weeks, but that doesn't mean that um, what you do is going you know to end there could be something really closely related that you do next but you you'll only get to that point um if you start you know with the for the first thing that comes to mind you i'm hoping that you've already thought of something that you've been putting off that you want to use um for this project so the links that i put in the description box of this video are really relevant. They're always, I always try to make them um, relevant when, when I put, you know, different resources down there. But um, I've written about this topic a lot, about the importance of um, completing small projects, how to uh, complete a content project in eight weeks, um, 
there are other things. Oh, how to break down a big idea to make it manageable. I've just written about this a lot. So there are lots of links in the description box that you can read to really give you guidelines and sort of um, best practices uh, of how you can approach this topic. So I already have my videos planned until the end of this year. So I'm going to do this because I want to do it to, to show you an example of it um, and actually follow through. I'm not going to start mine until the beginning of the year. So uh, do what I say, not as I do, but not really because, um, you know, if there was something else that I had in mind, I would, I would start it right away. It's just in my timeline that's when it's working out for me. So I'm going to tackle um, like word choice errors. When I opened comments um, a little while back, I got a great suggestion for uh, the difference between uh, two closely related words. Um, and there are so many of those that I love talking about and sometimes I don't always do it because I think, well, there's so many places where you could find that information. But again, I'm, and now I'm taking my own advice and I'm going back to, you know, it's always, I'm sprinkling in my flavor when I talk about, you know, like the difference between compliment and compliment. <laughs> Sounds the same, uh, two words, one compliment with an I and one compliment uh, with an E. And I think the suggestion that I got was for effect and effect, effect with an A and effect with an E. Great suggestion, great, um, uh, topic that I'm going uh, to cover as well as other ones and I'll, I'll probably do it over maybe eight to ten weeks as well um, starting at the beginning of 2020. So that is uh, your homework assignment. I hope you'll join me and then to bring it all together what I think I'm going to do I'm probably going to take a week or two off from posting videos towards the end of the year, probably the last couple weeks of December or the first week of January. I won't post a video. So my last video of 2019, I'm going to leave the comments open on that one. So where um, everyone can get together and talk about what they've been working on. Um, you know, any questions, I'll be available to answer questions um, as well. I won't have done my project yet, um, but I'm sure I'll have something to add because I'm, I'm still going to be posting until, until the end of the year. So, um, so that, yeah, that's bringing uh, the community together as a group to, you know, talk about, you can post links if it's, as long as it's relevant to this assignment, you can post links to where you've posted. Oh, that's, I guess I'll just wrap up with that. Um, I think this project is really great if, because it works no matter where you are in your writing career. If you've never written anything and you're just looking to build a portfolio, you can start even if you don't have a website. Write about, I'm just using writing as an example, you might like uh, doing videos or, or podcasts or another type of content, but let's just say writing. Um, write one piece of content for eight weeks, even if you don't have a website, and just put it somewhere, just save it, and that will be part of your portfolio. You could you know, take a break from it after that and edit it, and then still just keep it as, um, a portfolio with eight different writing pieces in there. If you're way further along in your writing career and you already have a website and you already post two blog posts a week, let's just say, you could still do this uh, assignment on top of your schedule because it's giving you permission to, or you're giving yourself permission to do a little something extra or say, okay, I want to do this assignment, so I'm going to make the time for more work that I may have been putting off, you know, for whatever reason. There are lots of reasons why we put off things and lots of them are valid, but um, if you have, you know, an idea in the back of your head that you just haven't gotten to, this is your excuse or this is your opportunity to say, you know what, I'm going to do that third blog post a week for eight weeks and I'm going to um, you know, do it for the sake of this assignment. So this assignment works um, no matter where you are in your writing career. Uh, so I think it can be really helpful and it can show you that if you dedicate the time once a week to work on your craft, what happens when you're done and that you have something to show for it and nobody can take that away from you, as I always say, because you have done the work. So I think that is enough talking about it. Um, 
I hope that you will join me on this homework assignment adventure and please check out the links below. Again, it will give you um, much more direction of how to tackle an eight week content project. So if you want to catch all of my videos before the end of the year and beyond and you're not already subscribed, click that red subscribe button below the video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and tap the notification bell uh, so you get a new note every time I publish a video for you on Wednesdays. I will see you next week. Bye!